out again. Yeah, one one day later. <laughs> All right. If someone that wants to be where you are, but has no idea where to start, what would you? What advice would you give to that person that that has the drive, has the knowledge, the wisdom, but just doesn't know where to get started? What, what would you tell them? I started all this off of a hobby, right, and a passion, yeah. something that I enjoy and I love, right? So if you have the drive and the ambition, all that stuff, if you start doing something you love, you can quickly turn that into something that, you know, is lucrative yeah. and, and supports you through life, you know? So I always go back to cars. Cars are like my number one thing. Um, yeah. You know, I've been working on cars since I was a kid. I. I can't even tell you at this point how many cars I've owned. <laughs> um, many. <laughs> yeah, way too many cars and motorcycles. That's my passion. So, you know, I was able to take that and then, you know, spin it a little bit. So, you know, go to school for mechanical engineering and, and uh, you know, so that was very mechanical, yeah. you know, so I could relate to it. You know, I could relate cars to it. It was easy for me. I don't want to say easy to study, but it was more relatable. So it helped me study. You know, but just never give up. True. Right? But like People that give up don't get anywhere. Yeah. There yeah. were a lot of times I just wanted to give up. <laughs> like, a lot of times where I was like, you know, I just want to transfer schools. Like, I just, I don't want to be here. This is not filling right now. Like, yeah. you know, it was really tough to get through when winters are bad and you're commuting what should be a 45 minute trip and it takes three hours to get to campus, you Terrible. know, like... So you, you had to go like you lived in for the people that are listening. This man lived in an entirely different city than his university. Mm -hmm. And in the winters, if you don't know, if you're not in the Midwest, East Coast, it's when it's winter and it's snowing, you really your commute is doubled in a sense yeah. because you have to fight through the snow, the traffic. The people spinning out on the freeway. Yeah, I was going to say the yeah. stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to look out for all of that stuff. So yep. he persevered to all of that stuff. get class safe and get home safe. Yeah. You know, there are definitely a many days when I wasn't sure I was going to get to class or get home. Or, yeah. you know, you'd be on campus and all of a sudden a storm comes out of the middle of nowhere. Yeah. That's right. And it's just like, you know, how am I going to get home in this? So, you know, eventually I did move to campus and, and got my own place. And, and uh, you know, I was able to, you know, walk to class. Yeah. Um, I had a five minute commute to work then instead of a <laughs> hour long commute, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, just progressing. Right. So never giving up, progressing through, you know, the different things. That's kind of, I guess, the only advice I'd have. Yeah. I don't know.